Friday afternoon, Specialist Smith is completing a job and doing some lock wiring. But he's anxious to get the weekend started, thinking of going out with friends, not his job. After all, how important could a little lock wiring be? How important could a little lock wiring be? Very important. Although the primary means of securing a unit of assembly onto the aircraft is the bolt, screw, or other fastener, safetying procedures are a locking method and provide the final security. If done properly, safetying can keep aircraft fasteners from coming loose due to vibration, rotation, or movement. It can keep an aircraft in the air. This program will cover some of the considerations and techniques of aircraft safety with lock wire, including the double twist method of lock wiring, the single wire method, and safety turnbuckles. Before beginning any lock wiring, you must choose the type wire you intend to use according to where it will be used and TM specifications. There are several choices from carbon steel and corrosion resistant to non-magnetic or copper wires. In applying lock wire, the double twist method provides the maximum degree of safety. It is called double twist since the length of wire used crosses over itself in a twisting pattern between bolts. Several demonstrations of this method will follow. Ensure you have torqued your bolt heads to the proper value. Never sacrifice torque value when lock wiring. Always wear goggles during lock wiring to avoid any chance of eye injury. For holes less than 45 thousandths of an inch in diameter, use 20 thousandths inch diameter wire. For holes more than 45 thousandths of an inch in diameter, Use a wire with a minimum of 32 thousandths of an inch diameter. Always use the size wire identified in the technical manual. Wires too small do not provide enough pressure. Wires too large can scrape the edges of the bolt and cause corrosion. Measure and cut off a length of wire approximately two and one half to three times the length of the safety you intend to install. Run the wire through the bolt head. Take the wire from the top and bring it around the edge of the bolt. Always bring the wire around in the direction of the tightening of the bolt and underneath the wire you ran through. This is important because it will cause the bolt to tighten when pressure from vibrations is applied to the wire. Start to make your wraps, bringing your left hand over your right. Maintain an angle between the two wires to get the required six to eight twists per linear inch. As you apply twists, pull down so that they stay tight. As you near the other bolt head, slow down so you don't put too many twists in the wire. You may not remove twists or unravel wire. If you over twist, you must cut the wire off and start over since safety wire must never be bent or reused. Keep twisting as you approach the other bolt so that the twisted portion is within one eighth inch of the bolt hole. Feed the top wire through the second bolt head. Pull down tightly. Bring the other wire along the edge underneath the wire that you ran through. Bring the right hand over the left for six to eight turns.
Grasping the unused portion of the pigtail with pliers, use a looping motion to apply tension to the entire safety. Never use pliers on the wire except on the end you intend to cut off. Leaving three to six twists in the pigtail, cut the pigtail off with dikes. Shield it from flying towards you or anyone around you. Bend the pigtail around against the head of the nut so it can't catch on and injure anyone. You may have an occasion where you need to secure three bolt heads in a line. The procedure starts off identical to the previous one. Make your twists left over right. When you get to the second or middle bolt, instead of going around the edge, go over the top of the bolt head. The reason for this is, if you were to go around the edge to lock this wire down, you would have to twist right over left. Then when you got to the third bolt, you would not be able to lock your pigtail in place. Twist left over right. Run the wire through the last bolt. And twist and secure it. When you carry out this particular procedure correctly, if the first bolt tends to loosen, it will tighten the middle bolt. If the middle bolt tends to loosen, it will tighten the third bolt. So in the end, you have a very useful and secure safety. When you have three bolts arranged in a right angle or V pattern, safety the same way you did for three bolts in a line. Safety the top bolt, Twist down over the top of the middle one. And twist over to the third one.
Whenever the bolt heads are widely spaced, you may safety a maximum of three bolts together. Never lock wire fastenings or fittings which are spaced more than six inches apart. Instead, lock wire so that the span is less than six inches. Whenever there are a number of small screws or bolts closely spaced together, you may lock wire as many as you can with a 24 inch piece of safety wire. This is the limit. Screws or bolts which secure hydraulic pressure or which are used in critical areas of clutch mechanisms, superchargers, or tail rotors should always use the double twist method of lock wiring. You also need to apply the double twist method on door jettison handles, and seat emergency release handles for security. But since you need to be able to break the wire quickly in an emergency, use copper lock wire of 20 thousandths of an inch diameter. When lock wiring electrical connectors or cannon plugs, use the same double twist method of safetying you use on other connectors. Never wire one cannon plug to another cannon plug. Cannon plugs may be safety to airframe structural members, but they should never be safety to fuel lines or tanks, oxygen lines or tanks, or components of a hydraulic system. Besides the double twist method of lock wiring, you may sometimes use the single wire method of applying safeties. This is the process of lacing one bolt to another in a non-twist manner. The single wire method under certain circumstances may be used in non-critical areas when you have small cap screws or bolts grouped together in a closed geometric pattern, a square, rectangle, circle, or triangle. It is particularly useful when you have small screws in places hard to reach. But remember never to use the single wire method in any critical area on the aircraft. Use the double twist for maximum security. When applying the single wire method, use the largest wire the hole will accommodate. This will ensure the greatest stability. Twist and complete the safety the same way you do for the double twist method. Turnbuckles used to adjust tension on a cable must be safety to ensure that vibration and tension on the cable will not loosen the turnbuckle. Use the following two wire method of lock wiring turnbuckles. Insert one wire, then the second wire. Secure the turnbuckle with a wire by wrapping it four turns in one direction on the cable end. And four turns in the opposite direction on the other end.
After each wire is completely wrapped, press the loose ends out of the way to prevent them from catching on any objects. Safetying with lock wire is never a simple task to be taken lightly. There are choices.